I'm Janine Cutleroff. I'm the CEO of Omic Interactive. Uh, we're one of the leaders in the gesture recognition space, and we're here at CES debuting a new technology for close range gesture interaction, meaning when you're within maybe a meter, a meter and a half from the screen, utilizing your hands to operate the screen and to um, in interact with your device in a, in a new paradigm. And we're here uh, showing, showcasing some, some really uh, exciting experiences which we think will see the development market and get people excited about the technology. So we're focused on um, integrated devices. We have um, partners who are looking to integrate close range special 3D cameras into devices like all-in-ones and laptops over the next 12 to 18 months. We're focused on supporting them with the necessary software um, which allows them to take the technology to market. And a key differentiation point of our technology is, I guess I would say, how deep we go. In other words, we look for not only um, just points on the fingers, not only just a really fast interactive experience, which of course we do deliver, but we really look for the, the entire hand and, and relevant points. And we deliver to developers, including our own developers, a full framework, a f first of all, a full skeleton of the hand. So there's 22 relevant joints on every hand. We track, each, we track all 22 of those joints. We then lay over a 3D model so that we understand the hand in every configuration, meaning often, first of all, the hand has a lot of degrees of freedom of movement. So uh, very often, parts are occluded from the camera. So, when the, um, so we have to understand how the hand moves and every relevant point on the hand, even when you don't see it. So if I could take it to the most extreme level, I would like a developer to be able to take our technology and actually integrate sign language recognition. You know, we envision a, a world where devices have so much intelligence that they can really understand how people uh, are meaning to react and, and cause the screen to, you know, to do the same type of things as a person would do with one another when we interact in the real world. So we're trying to give computers or give devices the intelligence to understand human language. On a more practical, immediate level, we've got, we've got uh, operating systems like Windows 8 seeping into the market. Windows 8 is very touch-oriented, and it's not really intuitive for non-touch controls. So, uh, so, so the most basic thing that we're doing is just enabling that to be a gesture interface so that large screen devices which don't have touch can integrate an experience that makes, that makes a lot of sense and feels right to the user. Everything from gaming to 3D modeling to, um, to just fun uh, interactions that, again, that enable us to move freely in, a, in the space between us and the device and the device understanding our natural moments. A very obvious use case would be shopping, right? If I'm shopping online for a pair of shoes, an article of clothing, m my natural reaction would be to interface with it like I would do in a retail environment, which is to pick it up and to look at it and to turn it and to, to almost you know, virtually touch it. So we're enabling that kind of experience where instead of clicking on a couple pictures for a couple different viewpoints, you'd simply pick it up and look at it however you want to. So those are the types of things that we're, that we're thinking about and that we're enabling.